I'm Natalie and this is James and this is our home, Zephyr. We have been sailing around the world for the past four years and now we have got a couple of stowaways on board. Meet Flint and Kira. Two puppy Weimariners that are joining the adventure. Subscribe and welcome to our channel, Sailing Zephyr. Last week we arrived into Solomon's Island. After spending one night here, we wake up to some very cold weather that gets us motivated to continue south. Well, good morning, everyone. Hope the sun is shining wherever you are, because it certainly is where we are. And it's the next morning. We're going to pick up the hook. We walked the dogs on the beach again. It was so much fun. They love it. And yeah, Nat's going to pick up the hook, and we are going to head about 38 miles south. We don't have 50 miles in us today, so I think 38 is about what we got. So. Plus the dogs. We want to get them off and get them walked. So, all right, let's pick up the hook and go. Look at these snug as a box. Okay. This one. Yeah. Very Christmassy. Very yeah. Christmassy, hey? Super Christmassy. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was a spicy exit, wasn't it? We knew it was going to be spicy. Um, there's a bit of an acceleration zone coming out of the uh, Solomon's Inlet, so to speak, and it delivered. 25 plus knots. We just had a scrap of Genoa and we just kind of motor sailed because we just wanted to push through it because once we got to a certain point, then we turned and as you can see, we've got waves behind us. The wind is just behind the beam. That's it. That's our update. That's a morning update. I'm freezing. And and that is freezing. So cold. <laughs> You're not prepared for this at all, are you? No, I'm uh, starting to get like a slippery nose. <laughs> and... You got so a cold. beach towel to keep your legs warm. Oh, I got my Canadian socks on. So somebody out there, hook us up with some foul weather gear because we are freezing. We're wearing like decathlon coffee jackets, yeah. beach towels to keep us warm. Yeah. Come on, somebody, Musto, Mustang, Gil, somebody hook us up because we're freezing. Anyways, we'll check back with you guys later. Apologies, we didn't really give you many updates along the way. It was a pretty boring motor sail. The wind just kind of died. And it's just been freezing cold, but we are now entering Deltaville. We're actually on the eastern side of Deltaville here. And you kind of meander through these little neighborhoods and there's great anchorages. But it's a kind of a cool little S bend thing you got to go through that's really narrowly marked, but well marked. So we're about to go through that. All right, it's 7 a.m. We've been woken up by the doggies, so it's time to take them for a walk. We fed them, we've got treats, we got poop bags, and this is how we do it. It's because they're puppies, they can't climb up the stairs, so this is what we end up doing. Oh, nearly fell in, didn't we? One. Who's going for a walk? Yeah, who's going for a walk? Walk time, yeah, play time. Oh my gosh, I don't think I can even get them on camera. Because they're going mental. Who's going mental? Yeah. When we've been doing these crossings, we've only done two up till now, and they've been really good. Um, we wake up early in the morning, take them for a big, nice long walk slash run, and then we'll get them back on the boat, they'll sleep, for a good chunk of the sail 
then they'll wake up, play a little bit more, and then we kind of arrive. So it's worked out really well. And then when we arrive, we get in the dinghy straight away before we do anything, or feed them, get in the dinghy, and take them for another walk. Yeah, they're with us every day, 24 seven. And I think now they're starting to get worried when we're not around. They're really good off the leash, as you can see, they kind of just stick stick to together and with us yeah what's that is it another dog <laughs> so already the benefits of having puppies is paid off because we're discovering trails we probably wouldn't have even sought out when we're exploring with the boat and these guys I love it. Look at this. Three weeks with your puppies. What are we thinking so far? I'm thinking double the trouble, but double the fun. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm also thinking I need a ton of sleep. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been amazing and so in love with them. Yeah. When they're sleeping. When they're sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Which isn't very often, and we're both absolutely tired. And now they got the zoomies. Zoomies! Oh, oh, good morning. What's happening? Are we awake? Yeah, we're awake. Okay. Time to go for our walk, right? Yeah, hello. Hi, Kira. Hi, Flint. Okay, ready? Let's go. These little monsters are eating three cups a day each. Is that right? Yeah. Three cups a day each. So, um, and they're on puppy kibble. And that's our fourth bag we're about to open. And I don't know how long this is lasting. What is it like a, a week? A week a bag? Yeah. Oh my gosh. We're gonna go broke. <laughs> yeah, we are. I think our sailing's coming to an end at this rate. You didn't you didn't think that through. I didn't think that through. Eight. Go. They didn't, didn't do so well today. <laughs> Normally they're really good. I think they know they're on camera or something. Yeah, it must be, but that's not right. Normally they got it down perfect, don't they? Like I can put the food down and they won't go for it. But today it was just like... They had too much sleep, so they're full of beans. I don't know. This one just hoovers it. Are we ready? Okay. Let me get the leashes. First dog coming up. Yeah, hello. Hi. Hey, Kira. Hello. Yeah, are we ready? guys are because they know what's coming. Wait. <laughs> one goes for a wee. The other one will be going any second. Nope. Oh, normally they always go at the same time. Oh, oh, they both go at the same time. Good girl. Good girl. Good boy. Good girl. <laughs> so, in case you're wondering where we actually are in this beautiful surroundings. We're in Belhaven and we are anchored here. It is absolutely beautiful, cool little town. There's a few marinas, but you can anchor here. 
And what's really interesting is there's two free docks and we checked them out, they're full unfortunately, but they are beautiful, beautiful free docks. Normally the free docks we've found, grab the water, are always pretty run down. The pilings are always kind of a bit suspect, but these ones are beautiful. So if you ever come to Bellhaven, try and squeeze on the free docks. Looks like you can fit about a 45, 46 foot sailboat if your draft allows. Anyways, back to the dog walk. Left Bellhaven. Picked up the anchor, we're heading along. Probably got about 20 miles, a little less than 20 miles to Beaufort, North Carolina. While Nat's down there with the pops trying to work on the video, I am following this long and windy road of the ICW. It is absolutely beautiful. navigating the ICW, great questions. We've been using Aquamaps, the app, Explorer Charts, and with that, you can actually download uh, a guy who's like, you know, he's the OG of the uh, ICW, um, and he's called Bob423, and you can overlay his tracks on top of the Explorer Charts here on Aquamaps. So that thing is gold to the letter, it's perfect. You can see there's a, a blue dashed line and our sailboat's following that line. And you can see sort of the borders here of the, the channel that we're following. And in, that's this is actually quite a wide channel. In other areas, that channel can get very narrow. Like here, it gets quite a bit narrower. So you, you only have such a small margin of error if you veer off. So, and you know, when you're passing like barges and, or you have power boats going by, or even if you're just not paying attention, you run down for a cup of coffee and you know, you, there's a bit of current and your boat starts to veer a little bit, uh, it can get pretty bad pretty quick. So, and plus there's a lot of floating logs and things like that. So, I mean, yeah, it, you gotta pay attention, um, but you can sit back, relax, and then just enjoy the view. There's so many birds, and beautiful scenery. I've run on long enough. Let's check back on Nat and see how she's doing with the pops because I can hear some naughty doggies downstairs uh, giving Nat a little bit of trouble. All right, let's check on Nat, see how she's doing. This How's the chaos going, love? I can hear the... Uh, Park in Beaufort or a beach or something that we, can, that we can go to this afternoon. Look at these troubles. They've actually each got one and they're happy for the first time ever. Alright, we'll check back in with you later or the dogs go a little crazier. Alright, we have arrived into Beaufort, North Carolina. The dogs have just had their second meal. But it's freezing, so we need to get south fast. <laughs> We're about to take these guys out again yep. for another walk. And a poo. And a poo and all that kind of jazz. They're ready to go. Times that I've told, places that i want to be. And how many days when I could have stayed. <laughs> Not quite there with him yet. No. She knows how to get on and off. He unfortunately doesn't. You lazy bones. You haven't learned how to get on and off yet, have you? She's so quick to want to... Come on. His back legs just don't work. <laughs> Come, on. Come on. First leg up. There you go. Oh, back legs in again. <laughs> there you go. That's walk number two, done and dusted. Now we're gonna eat some food because we're starving. I'm making tacos. Pork tacos. I'm just gonna poop bags in the oven. <laughs> what the heck? 
<laughs> what? That just shows how is you, that even in there? I don't know. That just shows you how tired we are. I assume this is what it's like to raise kids because I don't know how that got in here. And My it's God. sealed. It's never even been Good opened. Good job we didn't even. I don't know. It must have been when that was out and it was on the table. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah. Anyways, yeah. Pork nachos. Nachos? I mean, pork, tacos. Pork tacos. That's what I meant to say. All right. See you later. I don't even know what I'm cooking. Uh, while the pops are down, I'm trying to do my voiceovers real quick. And I write them out. Yeah. <laughs> How many days when I could have stayed? Anyways, yeah, we got some pork. It's already been seasoned. Now it's gonna make some guacamole. She makes the best guacamole you've ever had. And we got some tomatoes, some onions, some cheese, some salsa, just a classic taco. And a well-earned beer. All right, guys, it's evening time and the dogs have finished their walk, as you saw. And now, what happens next? These little buggers go down for their nighttime sleep. This one is actually under here somewhere. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Anyways. So yeah, so that's it guys. That is pretty much a straight up day with our dogs at the moment. But anyways, we're gonna have a little bit of food as you can see and well, we've been going to bed at 8 o'clock at night <laughs> with the dogs, so... Whenever they go... Whenever they go down, we go down. And whenever they get up, we're up. Which is like 5.30 every day, so... Imagine this is what it's like having kids. Anyways, alright guys, good night.